Hey, it's James, Fathers Rights and Resources, hashtag how I got custody. I'm going to talk about trial in this video and getting ready for your trial and not being afraid of trial. But first, let me remind everybody, I'm a father who got full custody of my daughter when she was seven months old in 2001 without a lawyer. I destroyed a lawyer with a 17 years experience. I destroyed a guardian lion with 10 years experience. And then when the mother hired a new lawyer down the road, when she tried to modify, we had contempt hearings, child support. That lawyer, when I first combated him had 37 years experience I destroyed him in the Court of Appeals a couple times and several other times defending against their bullcrap whatever I raised my daughter for 23 years she basically lived with me for 23 years now she's on her own so I don't need your help I'm here to help people I don't need you to educate me on what the court system is like I've been doing this for 23 years. I've helped 25,000. I've seen 25,000 different cases. Sometimes people call me, tell me their story, and they don't follow up. I've helped thousands of dads get 50-50, do better. Last time I counted, I was at 300 the number of dads. I helped get full custody without a lawyer. And your average attorney hasn't helped 10 guys get full custody in a contestant case. So I don't need your help. If you lost in court, I don't need your two cents. I don't need input. If people have questions about stuff or a topic they want me to talk about, that's probably the only legitimate thing that you need to be commenting in the comments. Besides the stupid ass hate I get, how easy it was, how lucky I was, because you're so hopeless and you're, you were such a pathetic pussy coward that you didn't fight. Don't need all that. If you want to console with me and want to learn how to fight, or if you're worried that, oh, James is going to be an a-hole in a console, go on my YouTube channel and type in the hashtag H-I-G-C testimony, how I got custody testimony, and see the people in the comments or videos that I've done showing people emailing me and texting me, you know, their testimonial and stories about winning or being successful. Guy in Hawaii stopped uh, mom from moving to Texas. Um, another guy just emailed me about 50-50. I got countless stories of getting 50-50. So... Guys with less than 50-50 love to come on my page and tell me what the court system is like and how hopeless it is when I won. You probably didn't fight the right way, or you didn't care, or you're a coward, or a sissy, or a pussy, and didn't get off your lazy ass and fight, or learn how to fight, and you totally trusted an attorney for a year or two years and paid $100,000 and lost. You did it wrong. Don't get mad at me because you did it wrong, or you didn't find me when you had a chance, okay? So, hopefully that clears up. I keep getting comments from stupid ass bums and haters saying stupid stuff. So, I really don't want to have to explain. It should be all by itself an explanation. My username is How I Got Custody. On my YouTube channel, it's How I Got Custody, Father's Rights and Resources. If you have at least one testicle with that's generating testosterone, you should have the willfulness and desire to say, I wonder what this guy is about and look into it. Because I show you my winning court orders and prove that I won. I shouldn't have to explain this to people, but that's what my numb nuts gender nowadays is. You know, we, we're feminine, we're soft, we're delicate, we're emotional, we've turned into women, and we can't use logic, and we can't see the answers to our problems when they're right in front of our face. So, all that being said, let's talk about trial. You should not be afraid of going to trial. You should be afraid of settling out of court under duress and getting bullied into a settlement. 95% of you settled on your court case if you have a final order or temporary orders. 95%. That's how many cases settle out of court in criminal court or any kind of lawsuit. 95% of the time. Only like 5% of people go to trial. Maybe even less than that. You should not be afraid of trial. That's your full day in court. Most of you got temporary orders if you did go to court and fight and didn't surrender and settle out of court because you obeyed your attorney who said, you better sign this. You're not going to get anything better than that. It's going to be too hard. You hear, if you hear that from your attorney, your attorney's a pussy-ass coward and they're just rolling with the system. They became an attorney just to follow the lead of the system. That's insane to me. Thought you became an attorney to stand up for justice and the truth and what the law says. Oh, that's not, you know, your attorney said, well, that's just not how they do it around here. Well, go in and fix how they do around here and start fighting on cases, starting with mine now. But then that's the mentality of dads too. This, this is the way the system is. Stand up to the system, you pussy ass bitch coward. What do you think men are for to stand up and be courageous and to protect? 
Oh, this is the way that it is. Don't be, don't give in. Don't be a little bitch Simba running away from your calling in your kingdom and off in the way, oasis. Oh, I can't. I ran away. They don't need me. I feel sorry for myself. I'm a nobody. Then when he saw his dad, when he saw Mufasa in the cloud, Mufasa said, remember who you are. Go back and take back what's yours. And he's like, I'm going to go F up Scar, who's a traitor within my family. You guys all got a kingdom, your family. The mother is supposed to be the queen and you're the king. The queen took over. She's a traitor. She's like Scar in the Lion King. You know, she's a family member who betrayed you and took your place as king in your family. You're the best protector. You're a better protector than a woman. That woman endangers your child by not being a protector or letting the next bum come into your house, some child molester, knucklehead, or felon, and you can't see your kid. That's what a lot of modern single mother women do. Go rescue your kid. Stop being a bitch because, oh, this is the way that is. I didn't give a damn that lawyers told me you can't win. I didn't give a damn that my sister told me that, you know, I had two boyfriends who got screwed and lost. Just give her what she wants. I didn't give a damn that this is what judges told me when I went to court and lost. I kept at it and I won over and over and over. I won contempt. I got five days a week visitation. I beat the mother down until she surrendered. So when you go to trial or when you have trial looming, you should be preparing for your case along the way, assembling exhibits, writing a diary, having pictures that correspond to the diary. You should be videotaping visitation exchanges, not pictures, not audio. Again, if you have the common sense God gave a monkey, if you audio record somebody, that could be easily thrown out as hearsay. The person says, that's not my voice. It sounds like my voice. He could have spliced it. He could have used it this way. If you have video of somebody walking toward you saying something, that's obviously the person saying it. If you have audio, you can't prove that that's that person. You got to use some damn common sense. You have to say, I'm going to go and go in front of a total stranger and trying to prove to them the mother said, I'm going to kill you or F you. I'm going to commit suicide and blow up everybody in this house. If you have it on camera with her saying that, that's overwhelming proof. Some guys just think, oh, well, I got it on audio. You think because you know it's her, you can prove that to a total stranger. You need to step outside yourself and stop being a little narcissist, little prissy diva. And step outside yourself and think outside, how will this be perceived by somebody else? That's one basic skill that people need to start doing. If I'm at Starbucks and we have a visitation exchange and it, and it goes awry, how do I prove to people or how do I prove to people that I was here at Starbucks and or that the visitation exchange went bad? I pull out a camera and videotape. I get surveillance video from Starbucks. I get a receipt proving that I was here. A lot of people don't even think about this stuff and it's basic common sense. So you're accumulating your stuff as you're going to trial. Then you come up on mediation close to trial. And this is where 99% of attorneys will want to settle at mediation and not get ready, not go to trial because it's work for their pussy ass little bitch made bum ass. They have to study your case. They have to work hard and they don't want to do that because they continue to easily make money. They go to mediation for four, five, six hours, make 400 bucks, let's say five hours. Make $2,000 in a day to just yak, yak, yak about how you're going to lose in court and go back and forth with the mother about detailing some total fake phony bullshit. You're de if somebody sues you in court, you have a right to go to trial. All the stuff in between, you're not obligated to do any of that. You're going to trial. Now, you can voluntarily settle and work it out, but you go to court because you have a dispute that you cannot work out on your own. So you're leaving it for the trial court to decide. But the trial court is filled with lawyer and pussy ass bitches who, when they were lawyers, they didn't fight that hard. And they have this routine and this mentality and culture of never going to trial and working it out. So they worship this uh, alternative dispute resolution process. So they want you to do it. And if you don't get what you want in mediation, have some balls and stand your ground and say, well, I'll go to trial. Because if the mother's pushing you to settle out of court, she doesn't want to go to trial. So you have leverage by going to trial. And you could you could play chicken all the way up to the day of trial. You want to settle on this? You didn't want to give me, you only want to give me 80-20. How about 80-30? Well, now we're going to trial. It's 50-50 or nothing. And then maybe she'll come up and she'll and she'll agree to something more reasonable. Because she's the one who's really scared of trial. But they they play a Jedi mind trick on you and they get you to be scared of trial. That's your day in court to expose her, talk about her, and bring all your proof. You should want to go to trial. And if your attorney wants to bail on you, so what? Do your own trial. You can do this. Prepare to go to trial.